Hey guys, welcome back to art. I hope you guys had a really good break and um, are ready to get started with our new projects for this week. Um, so we are going to be making a mitten because we're still in winter. We're gonna be making a warm and cool mitten. I don't know why that keeps going away. Um, so we have been talking about all of the elements of art and we've been talking about one of the elements of art which is color. Sorry, it keeps going bright. Um, so here is the color wheel. Okay, so it's called a color wheel because it's in, a, it's in a circle. And the color wheel does not actually start with any particular color, it's just all in a circle. Um, so there's different groups of colors, and that's what we're gonna kind of talk about today um, as we do our mitten project. So one group of colors, and we did talk about this last time, which was a couple weeks ago, so you might have forgotten, um, but one group of colors is called the warm colors on this side of the color wheel. Another group of colors is called the cool colors, which is on this side of the color wheel. So warm and cool. And the reason that they're warm and cool um, is because things that occur in nature that are warm or hot, our colors that are warm and hot like fire the sun lava those are things that would be like red orange and yellow things that are cool or cold would be more like green blue and purple more like um like the grass or trees or water sometimes mountains can look purple so those are reasons why those are cool colors okay so we're going to be using both warm and cool colors for our mitten project, okay? So here's what we're gonna be making again. All right, so you guys are gonna follow along with me and then we will get started. So all you need is a blank piece of paper and a pencil and your hand to get started, okay? So actually the first thing we're gonna do is trace our hand and to make a mitten shape. So you're gonna just put your hand on your paper like this and put your fingers together and your thumb out and you're gonna go ahead and trace around your hand, just like that. Oops, just making like the basic mitten shape, okay? Um, I'm also using like kind of a smaller paper, so that's why mine looks really big. If you're using a smaller paper, that are, that'll be fine. It should still fit. If you're using a bigger paper, that's also fine. So whatever you have, okay? Um, so that's the first part. So that's just our regular mitten. That's the easy part. The next part is we're gonna decorate our mitten with some designs. So throughout this year so far, we've been using a lot of different things with pattern and a lot of different things with line. So we're gonna continue doing that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to start by drawing. So I'm gonna first outline my mitten. So remember, outline just means to trace over your lines. Um, if you don't want to do this step, you don't have to, but I'm going to because I think it looks nice. And I'm just using a black marker for that. So also, once you're done with that, you can start adding in some different designs. So what I did was I divided my mitten into sections by just drawing lines across my mitten, just like that. Now in each section, I'm going to add different patterns or different designs. If you wanna do this a different way and you wanna design your mitten a different way, you definitely can do that. That's gonna be up to you. Um, but basically, I'm just going to start adding in some different lines and some different patterns in my mitten. Um, things that I like or things that I think look good something like that maybe in the next one I do um, some circles and then inside the circles maybe I do like a snowflake or a star whatever you want it to be okay then maybe in this section I do some wavy dotted wavy Okay, then maybe over here I can do some sort of shape and do a square and then a 
triangle. A square, a double square actually, and then a triangle. Remember guys, you do not have to copy my patterns. You can totally make up your own patterns or designs. I'm gonna do a spiral. And then I'm gonna do a box. Spiral. And then a little box. I should probably put something in that box. Maybe I'll just do like a big X. There we go. Anything, you guys can do anything you want in, in your um, designs here. I'm gonna divide this one up into more lines. And I think maybe I'm gonna do some stripes for this one. Okay, and then the last one, I think I'm just gonna do something like that, like a puzzle or something, okay? That is it for my mitten. I am done with that. Now I'm going to use my colors to design or to color in my mitten and my background. You now have to decide what group of colors you're using for each one. So you have to use the warm colors on either the mitten or the background and you have to use the cool colors on either the mitten or the background. So for example, in mine, I use the warm colors only on my mitten and I use the cool colors only in my background. So again, the warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. Cool colors are blue, green, and purple. If you're using pink, you can consider pink a warm color, okay? So that could be in the mitten if you're doing that on the mitten. Okay, so if I was gonna start coloring in now, just keep in mind, I also used markers and crayons for my mitten. If you're using just one or the other, that's totally fine, up to you. Um, but I'm gonna use my markers to color in and crayons. I wanna do both, because I think both look nice. If you wanted to leave some sections white and not color the entire thing in, you can definitely do that. Um, I also want you guys to practice coloring in nice and neat inside the lines in one direction. So I'm coloring in nice and slow, nice and neat inside the lines in one direction so I can practice making it look really, really nice, really, really neat, okay? So that's what you're gonna do for the entire rest of this project. Now, for the background, I just added a design back there, so something kind of simple, because I already have kind of a lot going on on my actual mitten. So in the background, I just added some circles with some snowflakes in them, and then I did like the colored stripes of all the cool colors, okay? If you wanna do your background a different way, that's fine, as long as you're using the cool colors on one side and the warm colors on the other side. Totally up to you which way you do it. Okay, guys, I hope you guys had fun with this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.